All right, we are going to make a chicken brooder today. We're gonna to use this old water trough that's been sitting in this barn. It doesn't really hold water that well, and we're gonna clean it out. We're gonna make a top for it, and we're gonna put our 12 brand new chicks in it so they can grow up and be fantastic egg layers for Willow Ridge Farm. Good job, muscles. Yeah. So our little chicks are going to live in here for the time being. And what we're gonna wanna do is put some pine shavings on the bottom and that's gonna absorb any sort of waste that they recreate. Not gonna put a bunch, you don't need to put, you know, two, three inches thick in there, just enough to cover the bottom um, because we're gonna switch it out daily so that they stay happy and healthy. All right, now that the bedding's in, we can take our little friends, put them in their new homes. Aren't they cute? Now, once you get them set up, you are gonna wanna take each chick, dip their beak in the water so that they kinda know where the water is and that it's ready and available for them. Okay, so the chicks are in the brooder, but we also have four barn cats, which means we probably should put a top on it so that the chickens are not tasty treats for the barn cats. Thanks for joining us while we made this chicken brooder. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, folks. See ya. Okay, so we made this brooder Friday, and today is Wednesday, and we've already made some significant changes to what's going on here. Let me show you what we changed up. 
once we did a little bit more research and figured out what exactly we were doing. All right, first and foremost was a latch. We had one single latch going from here to here that we just used a small luggage padlock on, and that was not gonna work. We were able to lift the corners and get in there, so we ended up putting this little jerry-rigged contraption together, and it seems to work quite well. No cats have gotten in there, no rodents of any sort, no predators. So another thing we did was we were having a hard time uh, keeping the top of the cage open when we were cleaning and switching out water and feeding all that stuff. So I added a chain to this and then we lift it up and it just hooks straight to that eye hook and stays open. Now, another thing we did is we hung the waterer and the feeder off of chains. When it hangs down in the brooder here, uh, it stays off the ground, which helps to keep it semi-clean even though these guys have a horrible habit of just throwing a ton of shit in their water. So along with feed and water, uh, we don't have any in there yet, but you can kind of see, I've got some grasses in here. We pull some uh, dandelions and some grass and some clover every day for them. We've got this little cup of um, chicken grit, uh, or chick grit, it's smaller size than regular chicken grit which helps them with digestion. And then we put a couple sticks in here for a roost. So these guys are all pretty darn happy. Uh, like I said, it's been about four or five days and they're just chilling out max and relaxing all cool. And they are becoming Willow Ridge Farm chickens. So yeah. Okay, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you again so much for everyone for watching. If you like what you saw, please go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, make sure to hit that bell to get notifications of our videos coming up. And until next time, see you folks. Chicken! I know, I got issues. There you go, buddy.